sleep. Day three, three day water fast. So we're doing some cardio. Man, I'm hungry. Good job. Yeah. You pressed the vibe. Yo, what up, guys? It's Gary Vee, and it's time for the daily bread. Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket. Cause I'm a hustle till I get it or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward. Right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry cause it's time for the daily bread. What's up, everybody? Tyler Harris here. <clears throat> it's about 7.30 in the morning on Wednesday. And uh, I'll wait till a couple of people will jump on here live before we get started, but I've got a really <clears throat> important message that I want to share this morning. Maybe a little bit all over the place, but I think it will probably be impactful for people. What's up, Tiffany? Hope you're doing well. So, 7.30 in the morning, um, I usually have no problem going to sleep, ever. And uh, last night I didn't sleep one hour, not one hour, just laid there, laid there. So I'm in the middle of a three-day water fast. Um, this is actually my third day, it's actually over three days. I started, um, my last meal was at eight o'clock Sunday night. It's the last time I had any food whatsoever. It was eight o'clock Sunday night. Um, just water uh, for the last three days. So today's the last day uh, of that, and I don't know what's going on. It's got me like all like, I have like a higher level of clarity um, right now. Um, and I think it was all coming to a head last night as I was trying to sleep. I just had this clarity and this kind of weird energy um, going on coupled with uh, just a crazy uh, couple of days and a crazy day upcoming, um, just couldn't sleep. So I laid there and, and I thought about just a million different things. Uh, you can imagine, I'm sure you guys have been there. But I got up this morning at um, six, my first meeting wasn't until nine o'clock and so I went to bed last night around one, thinking like, heck yeah, like I'm gonna get seven, six hours of sleep. First meeting's not till nine, and I uh, have a great day, and just, man, just laid there. Um, TJ's probably gonna get pissed at me for doing this video um, with such, such terrible lighting, but I did do it in landscape mode, not horizontal. That's always his biggest frustration, because I think we're gonna hopefully use this later, because uh, I think we've got some important things to say. Number one, I was just on the uh, treadmill for an hour. Again, I haven't eaten in three days, <laughs> and, uh, I was watching, I was catching up on Daily V episodes and a bunch of Gary V uh, content. I haven't been able to, uh, I've been grinding, I've been hustling so freaking hard lately, just going at such an insane pace. I haven't even been able to watch any of that, no less like watch TV or have any type of leisure time, but um, I haven't been able to watch any Gary V content. And some of his content was like, I was literally like almost in tears on the treadmill um, for the last hour. Uh, about some of the stuff about authenticity and not caring what other people think and being transparent and documenting and all of these things. And uh, I got off the treadmill and I, I came back in the hotel room here and just wanted to create this video. I wanted to just lay a couple of things uh, out for you guys. Um, number one, I wanna say that I am so incredibly, incredibly grateful. So grateful um, and humbled by the people that are on this Facebook Live right now, by the people that are engaging uh, with my content on Facebook and Instagram and on YouTube and on the podcast and all these different things we have going on. I am so incredibly grateful for that. Um, can't even really express it in words uh, because it's a hard thing to define. Uh, as this thing has progressed over the last 14 months, uh, it's becoming more difficult and more difficult and more difficult to really grasp what's happening in regards to building a personal brand, building a social media presence by just telling my story. It's very, very awkward. It's very strange. It's very, uh, it's just difficult. 
like how do I explain to some random person like what is it that you do on, on Facebook and Instagram and these things and like I just kind of like you know live my life and I hustle and I, and I do my day-to-day -day work but I, I have this grown man that that travels with me and is basically with me 24 7 that records it all on video and then we put out these videos every day and it's called the daily bread and like it's just like it's just so hard to uh, even put into words uh, what has happened um, but I want you guys to know how incredibly 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 grateful that I am um, for just you following me on this journey but I want to tell you that like man I am never gonna be one and I'm not one to sit here on this video right now and and say that there is anything special about me whatsoever uh, I struggle uh, every day I go through issues I have bad days I have bad mornings I have bad nights sleep like last night I have um, stuff right just like all of us do and and I never want to be in a position where someone looks at a video and because it's a little bit more highly produced now like on the daily bread even though it's a 24-hour turnaround it's as produced as we can get it in 24 hours but they never looks at something like that and is like yeah it's easy for that guy to say or yeah like of course that guy is telling you to you know go all in you know work hard and you know, don't care what other people think and all that, you know, look at this, you know, this thing he's built and this thing he's doing. It's not me, like I'm, I'm still the guy that like literally, uh, before I pressed live uh, or publish or whatever the button is on this Facebook Live, like I had butterflies in my stomach because I was nervous. Uh, I am a introverted person. Um, this entire world that I have thrown myself in is very uncomfortable. Uh, I talk about this um, idea of embracing discomfort, um, seeking discomfort, uh, and the world will give you pleasure, but it is not easy. Um, seeking discomfort is uncomfortable. <laughs> Imagine that. Um, but I've just done it, uh, and I continue to do it, and I'm willing to do it. And sometimes at the at the at the cost of my own sanity, quite frankly. Um, Doing, golly, I'm getting emotional. Doing what I'm doing uh, with this daily vlog. I mean, we're 50, last night was episode 56. You know, having someone travel with me 24 hours a day, um, in and out of every one of my meetings. Uh, we're together, we're recording, I'm constantly on film, constantly uh, posting content, constantly recording a podcast, recording this other podcast, recording content for this video. Like last night, like I was so just exhausted last night. But when I got back from I, my first meeting, I got to at 7 a.m. I d did not have one single break. Not one single break. Normally, I would I would say that I have a break to, to eat, but I'm on this three-day water, uh, water fast, so I haven't eaten in three days. So I didn't even have a break to eat. And so literally not a single minute break travel time from one meeting to the next which was like 10 15 minutes each time and didn't finish until like 9 45 p.m last night when i got back to the hotel i haven't eaten since eight o'clock sunday night i was exhausted just drained physically emotionally um, and we had to sit here and record content in my hotel room for the vlog that will go out today um, and that's difficult it's not always easy. It's not always something that like I want to do. Um, I found myself lately in, in episodes just kind of going through the motions a little bit and that's not good. Um, but I've made this commitment uh, to document at this at this insane level and, and I'm sticking to that at all costs, like at all costs. Uh, but I want you guys to know that uh, I'm, I'm a human being uh, I have struggles, uh, I go through <laughs> pain, uh, just like every single one of you. And, and that's what I want this entire thing to be about, is that like, I am, I'm you, I'm just you on this side of the camera, right? Like I'm going through the same stuff as you, going through the same struggles, going through the same pains, having the same ups and downs, an emotional roller coaster. Like yesterday 
Like I felt unstoppable yesterday during the day. Uh, I sold 57 life insurance policies yesterday. Like that is insanity. That's more than most life insurance agents sell in like three, four months. I sold yesterday, felt absolutely unstoppable. This morning, quite frankly, I felt like a utter failure. Uh, just uh, woke up just feeling defeated. I woke up feeling um, like I'm missing the mark in so many places. I woke up feeling, um, I, said, I just said I woke up. I didn't wake up. <laughs> I didn't sleep last night. Uh, but I laid in bed last night and I just thought of the million different things that I should be doing, that I need to be doing, that I'm not doing. And, and I take complete ownership in that. Doing so many different things, but like there's so much more that needs to be done. Um, and I can, I'm constantly putting myself in the, in the viewpoint of the person on the other side of this camera. And, and, I, and I think it's like, okay, I just said there's, there's so much stuff I'm doing, there's so much more that needs to be done. Like, I look at that as like, okay, that, yeah, that, that sounds great, like awesome, like kudos to you. Like, it's like, you know, hashtag humble brag, but it's not. Like there's so much stuff that I need to do to get this message out there. And one of those things that I've come to the realization is that I've got to bring on like a personal assistant or intern, something, um, some type of position like that, that I can delegate a, a ton of stuff to. Like there's so many different things that, like when it enters my brain, like it needs to get done, but they don't have the capacity to do it. I don't have the time to do it. Um, I am one that hates, 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 hates when people say I don't have the time. Uh, but man, I'm running out of it. Um, uh, you know, I, I left Sunday. I won't get back home to my family till late tomorrow night, Thursday night. Um, meetings all day Friday. Um, on the road a bunch. I'm speaking at a lot of different events now um, over the we over weekends, which is difficult. And I don't want to spend that time away from my family over the weekends. Uh, but I know that speaking is like kind of my next step and what I need to do to, to get this message and this um, this platform out there. But man, it's uh, it's not easy. Um, and there's been things that I've been wanting to talk about on the vlog that I haven't talked about yet. And it's 56 episodes in. It's ridiculous that I haven't brought them up. But issues that I've dealt with, problems and struggles that I've gone through. Um, that are going to be coming out in, in in very 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 near future on these episodes and it's stuff that i'm really uncomfortable to talk about um stuff like problems with alcohol uh, that i've had in the past um stuff like uh confidence issues uh getting deeper into the divorce that i had at a young age um the the depression that i went through um resulting after that divorce and being terminated from uh, what was an incredible career at the time um, Just all kinds of stuff that like I know it's important to get out there because it's stuff that we all face It's stuff that we all have been through it's stuff that so many of us are, are going through right now and whether it's that specifically or whether it is uh, something that that someone can relate to because of what they're going through uh, I know I need to get that message out there, but quite frankly, I just haven't done it because I've just been scared just been scared to put it all out there um, and it just keeps me up at night like it keeps me up at night just thinking about it uh, and so we're gonna be getting that out uh, really 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 soon um, and so look forward <laughs> to, to that but guys I just really just wanted to get on here uh, I wanted to do this live because if, if I hit record on a video camera or if TJ hits record like you know you never know um, who uh, you never know like if that's uh, edited and chopped up and um, produced and, and all of this stuff like I wanted you to see this live because um, it's you know it's, it's just been a very strange kind of been a weird place this morning uh, but want you to know how incredibly 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 uh, grateful I am um, for anyone that would spend two minutes to click on a video of me uh, talking it is the weirdest feeling in the world. Um, it's the greatest feeling in the world, but it's also an intense amount of pressure. Like, man, it's a lot of pressure. Um, like, I'm, you know, that who am I? Um, uh, who am I? Um, 
question that who am I complex, you could even call it like, who am I to sit here on, on video right now and, and talk to you? Who am I? Um, it's hard to shake that uh, because of things that have happened in the past and failures and failures and failures and failures. And when you have this type of transformation that I've had over the last three and a half years, going from being unemployed to you know, almost $700,000 in income last year and um, you know, ownerships and companies and, and things that have happened so fast. Uh, three and a half years is very fast. Um, it, it feels like it's happened in the blink of an eye. Um, and it's, it's a lot. It's a lot to uh, process. It's a lot to deal with. And um, it's, <laughs> it's a lot to deal with also throwing myself into a world where I'm documenting everything online in the process. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I, I think... I think I just wanted to get on here and just tell you guys thank you. Um, thank you for engaging with the content. Thank you for sharing the content because that's the only reason I'm doing this. Like you guys know my story, you know my spiel. Like I don't sell anything. I don't uh, monetize anything here on social media. The only reason I'm doing this is because somebody else needs to hear it. Uh, the only reason I hit live and hit publish or whatever the button is on this Facebook Live this morning is because someone needed to hear me struggling this morning. Um, someone needs to hear it. And that's my encouragement to you. Uh, we've all got a story and we all have that who am I complex. Who am I to, to start putting my stuff out there? Who am I to start giving advice on things that I need to take myself? Um, but we've all got a story. Uh, we've all got things that we can impart on this world and I just think it's our responsibility to do so. Um, I know that that's what I was born to do uh, and man, coming uh, to fruition and seeing this all play out over the last 14 months has been a, uh, a roller coaster. But man, it's been so incredibly um, just inspiring. Uh, just like, I'm not, <laughs> certainly not saying that I'm inspiring myself, but I'm inspired by watching just this law of attraction happening, like the connections and the, like the fact that a guy from Australia, when I was on the treadmill just now, sent me a, a DM on Instagram and just said, hey man, just wanted to um, shoot you a quick message and see how you're doing, man. I know you're doing this three day fast and was thinking about you. Like the thought that that's even possible that a guy that works at a uh, recording studio in Australia um, that I've connected with, like sent me that message means the world to me. Um, the DMs, a uh, guy, Tony, uh, who just sent me a message. I haven't read it yet, but I saw the notification come through that his wife, uh, he had talked to his wife, he's thinking about coming down here from Maryland all the way to South Carolina to meet with me. Um, the fact that he would drive from Maryland to South Carolina to meet with me, like I'll give him that entire day and pour my heart and soul into that conversation to make sure that the, he has the greatest ROI uh, that he could ever get uh, from that day with me. Because who am I? Like. I'm the person that I, I care. Like I, I genuinely um, just care and know that the person that I was three and a half years ago is the person that can watch this content. And if I can be that little spark, that tiny little pivot that needs to happen to put that person on the right track, to put that person in a better position than uh, when they first scroll to the video or scroll to the post or scroll to the content, then and that's just, that's just what I'm gonna do. And it's becoming increasingly harder um, to balance it all uh, with my career. Um, and that's my main focus, is just to remain focused every single day in that um, and, and not let it ever, the idea of doing this, I don't think you, I, I really don't think um, people com comprehend the level of content, production, creation, distribution. I mean, we've got Sales Oils podcasts on iTunes and YouTube. We've got the Breadwinner podcast on iTunes. We've got the Daily Bread, which is going out five days a week on a 24 hour turnaround. We've got two videographers, a new content creator, a graphic designer, another um, kind of jack of all trades guy. We've got uh, Motivation Kings that's got like pff, tens of millions of reach every week on Facebook and Instagram and then my Facebook and my Instagram, our company's Facebook, that my company's Facebook that I've grown is like 270,000 on Facebook. I mean, you're talking about like 30 posts a day between all these things. 
um, Facebook Lives, Instagram Lives, Instagram Stories. I've been going insanely hard in Instagram Stories because it's where everybody's scrolling now. Nobody's scrolling through Instagram. They're just looking at Stories now. So Instagram Stories like crazy. Um, the YouTube channel being a huge focus. My website pushing people to emails. We're creating a newsletter. Like all of that, and there is zero revenue brought in. Zero. Like like zero this isn't some like um you know front like talk about not monetizing like i'm going so far even to where i don't even monetize my youtube channel it had 427,000 minutes viewed last month and i didn't monetize it period and there's a reason for that it's because i wanted to make that switch into where i could say that like i don't want to say that and know that oh yeah but you are kind of monetizing with the youtube channel and you know you brought in 500 bucks last month that 500 bucks like that's nothing in the scheme of things. I spent, I'll spent i spend more than $500 this week on Facebook ads with zero revenue coming in from it. I don't think people actually understand that. Uh, we will spend probably on this social media thing that we're doing, we will end up spending probably around $300,000 this year. Around $300,000 this year on social media with zero expectation of getting one penny in return. Not just expectation, a purposeful, like a choice to not receive one penny in return and for it all to be about the impact that we're making and about the value that we can bring. Like, I don't know if people understand, I don't know if people really, really grasp that. And that's on top of the 17 hours that I worked yesterday selling 57 life insurance policies and being away from home 238 nights in a year and four nights a week and you guys know the, the deal. Um, it's crazy and more and more people keep telling me like you're gonna burn out you're gonna burn out you gotta slow down my wife constantly is like you gotta quit saying you like you gotta quit piling things on you gotta quit piling things on and it's probably my biggest uh, struggle right now is I just I can't stop piling it on I can't stop piling it on uh, as soon as I hear about something else that we need to be doing I'm like yeah let's do it let's do it let's do it like we're about to launch the daily bread audio experience um, within the next seven to ten days I put a guarantee you can freaking take that to the bank within seven to ten days there will be a daily bread audio experience and we will have every single one of the 50 some odd now 56 episodes of daily bread on iTunes um, and the audio experience and the tagline is incredible. It's going to be the flavor in your ear, you know, the old song flavor in your ear. Um, but like just piling it on, piling it on, like that's another thing it's just to add to the, to the, the chaos. Uh, but man, um, just incredibly grateful, incredibly humbled, um, by the response, the engagement, the connections that I'm making. Uh, I'm going to be speaking at the, uh, outlier, podcast festival may 11th i'm going to be speaking uh keynoting uh, an event in atlanta uh april like 11th something like that i'm going to be keynoting an event called disruptive innovation in, in um huntington beach uh, california june 1st I'm going to be speaking on stage at uh, meltdown in the desert which is going to be out in scottsdale uh june 22nd through 24th uh, just like so many different things. The podcast is, I have had some insane, insane guests lined up for the podcast. I mean, just on Friday alone, I've got two insane people, Ryan Mickler from Order of Man, Patrick Bet David. Uh, if you've seen the stuff that he's doing with the PHP agency and valuetainment and all that, um, I mean, he's interviewed some of the top entrepreneurs in the world, but Ryan Mickler is an incredible human being with the Order of Man uh, podcast uh, and, and his whole movement for masculinity and and, um, and, and what it really means to be a man. And it's these people um, that I'm connecting with, it's just humbling. It's really, really humbling. Um, it's, it's, it's everything that I wanted to have happen with this, but now that it's happening, it's kind of just like, whew, man, it's all happening uh, real fast. So that's about it, guys. Um, I know this has been a little bit all over the place, but I wanted to do this live so that you guys can kind of see what's going on in my head kind of come out again. I uh, didn't sleep one hour last night. Um, I'm on, I'm like, uh, what am I, like 60 hours in on a three day water fast. So I haven't eaten any food since eight o'clock uh, at night on Sunday. Um, and just getting a lot of clarity right now. 
and that's always a good thing. So with that, I've got a meeting at nine o'clock and I gotta go sell a bunch of life insurance today so I can keep funding this here thing called social media. And now we're gonna see if we can't make that happen. Uh, another night in a hotel tonight, and then another day of meetings tomorrow in Georgia, and then I'll go home <sighs> late tomorrow night. So with that, guys, I hope you have an incredible Wednesday. I appreciate you jumping on this. If you could do me a favor and share it, if you got anything from it, leave a comment uh, with maybe, I don't know, something positive that would make me feel great today after not sleeping and not eating. That would be awesome. Maybe something that you've gotten from the content over the last 14 months. <laughs> Uh, that would be awesome. Uh, but I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, I know that I got a bunch of uh, messages in my Facebook inbox. I've been going a lot harder on Instagram than Facebook lately. I've got a bunch of messages I need to respond to here on Facebook, which I promise I will do. Uh, but I appreciate each and every one of you. If there's anything that I can ever, 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 ever do uh, for you or for someone you know, uh, please let me know. Uh, that's the only reason why I'm here is to do that. So with that, guys, I hope you have an awesome day. We'll talk to you soon. Friends.